A warm welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. Do not forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. Now we've got a real, real challenge in this video again. Yes, it's one of those disaster type details. We've got a Mark III Cabriolet Golf. This vehicle has been sat outside for, we think, between three and five years. And it's developed a lot of moss, a lot of mold on the inside. And it's nature, again, has degraded the vehicle down. And we're going to try and bring it back. But in this particular video, we're going to draw in technology. And we're going to try and do all of the clever stuff with dry ice. Okay, so we've performed a basic valet or clean on the exterior of the car, but there's certain areas that we haven't deep cleaned or scrubbed, like this vinyl roof, like all the rubber seals, like the plastic trim that's faded away, 
because we want to see what the dry ice can do rather than using kind of conventional cleaning methods, scrubbing and dressing or getting a heat gun on it. So we're leaving certain things. The next step is we're going to decontaminate the paintwork and clay it. What's the condition of the paintwork? Terrible. Um, this rear quarter has been painted and the paint is starting to fail a little bit and peel. Um, there's lots of lacquer failure all over the car from where bird poo etching has sat there for years and eaten its way through in spots. So we're very limited about the paint correction side of it. So the best approach for this is to give it a good clay bar and then hit it with a single stage polish, um, protect it all in one and just gloss up the paintwork and then tomorrow we'll do all the interesting stuff. So Luke, what is dry ice cleaning? Dry ice cleaning is a process where you use compressed CO2 gas. It turns into a solid. It's then fired under pressure at a surface using our dry ice energy machine here. And upon impact, that dry ice itself explodes or sublimates at around 70,000%. When it does that, it removes all the contaminants and all the bacteria without using any water or any chemicals. There you go, Johnny boy. It's probably easier to tell you what it can't be used on. The one thing that we're always careful with is levers, and we're very, very careful with soft, soft foams. 
Other than that, you can pretty much use it anywhere in a vehicle. You can use it on the plastics, you can use it in the engine bay, you can use it on paint, hoses, metals, you can use it on door jams, you can use it on the interior, the fabrics, the soft top roofs, all the rubber linings. You can pretty much use it anywhere, including the switches on the dash, uh, LCD screens. So there are very, very few limitations to what you can actually use dry ice cleaning for. Hey, look at that shine. Oh, look at that. Amazing. It's a different <laughs> colour. <laughs> is it two different colours? It's purple in that. So guys, what are the plans for this car? Well, we're actually planning on raffling it. Um, so we'll have an online ticket raffle that people can enter for a, a couple of quid per ticket. They could win a project car by all means, but a, a good car for a couple of quid. And then all of the proceeds will be going to a local charity. Um, we will have it available to see at our last Heretics event of the year, which is on the 7th of September in the evening so we'll have it there so people can actually come and view it as well if they want and also obviously buy more tickets and you'll put it on your socials if, when you're doing this so what, what are your socials instagram is drive heritage and facebook is heritage park center um, so we will link everything on there as well and we'll put it in the description of this video for those interested in winning this car in a raffle that's coming up so that's brilliant thank you very much i um, really really appreciate your time we've had a load of fun on this and uh, we hope that it goes to a good owner and they really get to enjoy it so guys, thank you very much for watching. This detail is complete. How did it go? What are my feelings at the end? The car is a lot better. It's a lot better, but again, you're limited with what you can do with what you're working with. So again, hopefully this gives us a good start for whoever's gonna take this vehicle to then go on, like we said before, recommission it. Get it back and enjoy it. Um, but it does lead lots of work that can't really be addressed by detailing. But at least you can get in there and it smells nice now and there's a bit of shine to the paintwork. So I'll settle for that. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're also you're new to detailing and you want to learn about all the kind of detailing processes from start to finish, check out my detailing fundamentals course in the description. Other than that, take care and have a great day. Bye for now.